The Keta Harbour project was one of President Akufado's campaign promises to the people of Keta aimed at increasing economic activities in the area. The special purpose port, when constructed, is expected to offer security gains to Ghana, serve as a refueling point of Ghana's ships in foreign waters east of Ghana, amongst others. However, fiscal work is yet to commence on the project. The appointment of Dr. Alexander Yawedusei as director of the Keta port long before commencement of the project was a subject of criticism from the opposition and residents there, with many describing it as a financial loss to the state. Government, in its defense, said the appointee will serve as a link between major stakeholders to oversee the actual construction of the port. The proposed Keta port is expected to be built around the Volta Lake in the town of Keji in the Keta municipality. The seaport will add to two existing ones, Takwade in the western region and Tema in the greater Accra region. A feasibility study on the project indicates that the area is economically and physically good for a port. Minister for Transport, Kweku Ufuri Esiyama revealed that the first phase of the project will cost $600 million. It is a fact that the project of this nature are highly capital intensive and government on its own may not be able to finance it all. We are gathered here today for this market sounding event because of our commitment and belief in the private sector to support government. And this is the way that we want to finance this project. We believe it will be the game changer as far as the, the economic situation of the Vortal region and UT region are concerned. The feasibility studies propose that the port facility shall be developed in phases corresponding with the forecasted traffic growth and potential business development. The phase one, which is the port Nicholas, is estimated around $650 million dollars consisting of the main facilities of the key drivers of the commercial port development. Director of the Keta Port, Dr. Alexander Yao Dusei says, series of consultation and works needs to be undertaken before physical work starts on the project to ensure it lasts. We need to do environmental impact assessment. That is, we are hoping by first quarter of next year, we should have finished all the terms of reference and maybe even started the process itself. He is hoping by the third quarter of next year, we would have been able to finish that. Tema Port is still being built. Takradi Port that was built in 1928 is still being built. How do you expect Keta Port to start within two years? I've been in around for two years. It is a process. If you don't do it right, you will put a structure on quicksand. Mm. And we don't want to do that. The engineer for the project, Komla Ufori, also allayed fears that the effect of tidal waves would have an impact on the project. The port becomes a major sea defense element. I mentioned the integrated coastal zone management system. So the sea defense is not only, I mean, I, I, I humbly say that I have a lot of experience in the Dutch economy. They don't have hard structures as sea defense. Most of their, you know, their defense are sand and dikes built with grass on it. And you put peat together, you compact it, you put a pile in it and it protects the sea. We shouldn't be afraid. It is not as if with a port there's no more sea defense or with sea defense there's no more port or something. You have a combination of what you need to do. To, to get those things up. The chiefs of the area who pledged their support to the project called on government to employ the skills of the indigents in the construction of the project. The initiators of the project, the government for that matter, put in place systems and measures in place to employ the indigents. Then the indigents themselves taking steps to make themselves employable so that as and when the opportunity comes, they will be employed. If for any reason that we must see this project carefully executed, it has to involve planning, proper and perfect planning. And I am of the view that it is the planning and other circumstances that cause the delay. However, I'm confident that it will happen. Reporting for City News, my name is Anshelly Zew.